kids' educational games. Hi, I'm Oliver. So you came over to help me with my science project? It's due on Friday and I haven't even started. That's why I built the automatronic. This time machine will allow me to go back in time to see what really happens during an earthquake, volcano, and flood. Once we leave, we can't come back until we visit all three destinations. We'll be going back in time to see some of the greatest natural disasters in history. I've downloaded the entire world's history into the Automatronics onboard computer. Lucy, say hello, Lucy. Hello. Lucy will tell us everything we need to know about each location and disaster. I've already programmed Lucy with the three destinations. Click on any one of the blinking destination lights to start the journey. Buckle up tight. Here we go. Canto. Wow, what a trip. I wasn't sure if that would work. I ended up in the neighbor's garden the last time I tried that. Lucy, where are we? We are in Kanto, Japan, in the year 1923. We are just minutes away from one of the most devastating earthquakes in history. Click the icons on the computer screen to learn more about Kanto before the great earthquake. People. The Japanese believed they were the center of the world, and their emperor was a divine being. Those beliefs soon carried them into a war with neighboring China in 1931. The leading cause of death in Japan before the war was pneumonia. Japanese men were the sole providers for their families. Women were expected to be submissive and stay home to take care of their family. Life Life was pretty simple in Japan in 1923. Most families were farmers or small shop owners. Meals were cooked over wood fires and people traveled across Japan by train. Silk was the most important export in 1923. Geography Japan is often referred to as the land of the rising sun. It comprises over 3,000 islands in the Pacific Ocean. Kanto is very close to Tokyo and Yokohama. Tokyo was and still is the most populated city in Japan. At the time of the earthquake, there was a major typhoon off to the Noto Peninsula. Wow, Lucy! Life in Kanto was very interesting. Let's pull the disaster cord to see what life was like after the big earthquake. Pull the cord to see an earthquake. I've never felt an earthquake that intense. Lucy, what happened to Kanto? The Kanto earthquake was one of the largest and deadliest ever recorded. It struck at lunchtime when many people were cooking with fires. Those fires spread quickly and were the largest cause of death. Here are some other statistics. The earthquake registered as an 8.3 magnitude. 105,000 people died. 40,000 people went missing. 1.9 million people were homeless after the earthquake. The earthquake devastated Tokyo and Yokohama. The earthquake moved a 93-ton statue of Buddha. I'm ready to visit the next destination when you are. Click on one of the buttons on the terminal and Lucy will take us there. I hope. Pompeii. If my calculations are right, we should be somewhere over Italy almost 2,000 years back in time. Lucy, is that Italy I see below us? Yes, Oliver. We are over the town of Pompeii, Italy in the year 79 AD. You can click the icons on the computer screen to learn more about Pompeii before its most famous disaster. People the people of Pompeii were made up of wealthy Roman vacationers, artists, shop owners, and farmers. The town was home to more than 20,000 residents. The town had a forum, a great food market, a mill, a bar that served cold and hot beverages, an amphitheater, a grand hotel, and numerous restaurants. The current Pompeii has been a popular tourist destination 
for more than 250 years. Life People were considered very liberal by Roman standards. Life in Pompeii was pleasant enough for the people to ignore the minor tremors from Mount Vesuvius. The rich volcanic soil in Pompeii allowed the farmers to grow some of the best produce in Italy. Geography Pompeii is a coastal town near Naples, Italy. The mighty Mount Vesuvius could be seen from anywhere in town. It has erupted many times and is the only volcano in Europe to have erupted in the last 100 years. Pull the cord when you're ready to see Mount Vesuvius blow its top. It looks like everything disappeared. Lucy, what happened to Pompeii? The volcano blew enough ash in the air to cover the entire city. Life was completely frozen and buried in ash. Here are some other statistics. Lava with a temperature of 725 degrees swept into the nearby town of Herculaneum. Pompeii was covered in 12 layers of soil and 60 feet of pumice. The pumice perfectly preserved life in Pompeii. Paintings, animals, food and drink were entombed. The ruins have been a popular tourist site for the past 250 years. I'm getting some great information for my report. I have one more place on my list to visit. I'm ready when you are. Click on the final destination button on the terminal and Lucy will take us there. Huang He River Wow, we're certainly not in Italy anymore. Lucy, where are we? We are now in the year 1931 in China. You are looking at one stretch of the Huang He River. It is widely known as the Yellow River and flows through nine provinces in the Yellow Valley. Click the icons on the computer screen to learn more. People the earliest civilization settled on the Huang He River. China is one of the world's oldest civilizations, and the people invented paper, gunpowder, printing, and the compass. Most people still live in country villages and make a living as farmers or small shop owners. Life The Chinese language has over 20,000 characters. The average Chinese only learned about 5,000 of these in his lifetime. Image and credibility is very important to the Chinese. They never want to be embarrassed, insulted, or shamed. When someone sneezes in China, you simply ignore it instead of saying, bless you. Most Chinese families only have one child, since there are already more than one billion people living in China. Geography. The Yellow River is the second largest in China, 3,300 miles, and the sixth largest in the world. Silt from the land turns the Huang He River yellow. The river has flooded so often it is known as the River of Sorrow. A total of 14 countries and four seas border this enormous country. Hold the cord when you're ready to see the Yellow River rise. It looks like everything's washed away. What happened to the Huang He River? The 1931 Yellow River flood is considered the most devastating natural disaster ever recorded. It is sometimes called the River of Sorrow. It's estimated that up to 3.7 million people died in a series of floods. 80 million people were left homeless. The flood started in July and ended in November. The river flooded 87,000 kilometers of land. Nanjing City was surrounded by river water and turned into an island. 
the water reached 53 feet above its normal height. I don't know about you, but I need to get home and finish my chores before dinner. I've got everything I need for my report on Friday. When you're ready, click the home button and we'll be on our way. You are obviously forgetting that we cannot go home without first making sure you have all the information you need for your report. Setting up a mandatory quiz was one of your more brilliant ideas. We can't return home until we take a quiz. Choose the best answer to each question and watch the launch counter climb. When the quiz is complete, we can go home. What is an earthquake? The result of a sudden release of energy in the Earth's crust that creates seismic waves. An explosion on the top of mountain. The result of a sudden release of energy in the Earth's crust that creates seismic waves. Nice job! In what year was the Kanto, Japan earthquake? 1941, 1923. Nineteen twenty three. Nice job. Where and when was one of the most devastating earthquakes? Pompeii, Italy, Kanto, Japan. Kanto, Japan. Nice job. How many people died in the Kanto, Japan earthquake? Approximately. 105,000. Approximately 10,500,000. Approximately 105,000. Nice job. What was the largest cause of death after the Kanto, Japan earthquake? Pneumonia. Fires. Fires. Nice job. This natural disaster location is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Italy. Pompeii, Sicily. Pompeii. Nice job. Where and when was one of the most devastating volcanoes ever recorded? Pompeii, Italy, 1879. Pompeii, Italy, 79 AD. Pompeii, Italy, 79 AD. Nice job. This was the name of the volcano that buried Pompeii, and the only volcano in Europe to have erupted in the past 100 years. Vespa, Vesuvius. Vesuvius. Nice job. What is a volcano? An opening or rupture in a planet's surface or crust, which allows hot, molten rock, ash, and gases to escape from below the surface. An opening in the ocean's surface that swallows up enough water to change the ocean's surface. An opening or rupture in a planet's surface or crust, which allows hot, molten rock, ash, and gases to escape from below the surface. Nice job! Life in Pompeii was entombed by 12 layers of soil and 60 feet of this substance. Concrete. Pumice. Pumice. Nice job. Where is the Huanghe River, also known as the Yellow River, located? China. Japan.
China. Nice job. These things were all invented by the Chinese, one of the world's oldest civilizations. Paper, gunpowder, printing and the compass. Automobiles, sunglasses, ballpoint pens, and pizza. Paper, gunpowder, printing and the compass. Nice job. How many died in the Huanghe River floods in 1931? 370,000. 3,700,000. 3 million seven hundred thousand. Three million seven hundred thousand. Nice job. What is a flood? A torrential downpour. An overflow of water that submerges land. An overflow of water that submerges land. Nice job. The Yellow River has caused so much devastation that it is also known by this name. The River of Sorrow. The Soggy River. The River of Sorrow. Nice job. Go home. That was a fascinating trip. I can't wait to share my report on Friday. Thanks again for being such a wonderful co-pilot. Say goodbye, Lucy. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.